Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render his offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the Jew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, in them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were free from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen, I answered you on thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, 
I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the King of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. Amen. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord with your, your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Gospel reminds us of that great truism of how we love the Lord, how we love the Lord fully with everything that God has given us with, we return to God. And in a similar way, we realize how gifted we are in the Lord so that we love our neighbor in that same aspect, in that same way. It's something that is difficult to do because we know of the Lord's presence. We know that the Lord's fingerprint, as it were, is part of all creation, where you can be able to see the Lord's working in the creation of our sisters and brothers and of the very work or of our very lives. And likewise, we're able to recognize our Lord truly present in the Eucharist, that we're able to see our Lord's body, blood, soul, and divinity before us as we celebrate Mass or as we go to adoration. But it's something that at times we do forget, for at times our God is unseen by us, that we are only able to see our Lord through our Lord's results, right? what our Lord does in our lives. The same idea of wind, where we aren't able to, in a sense, catch wind, but we could be able to see the effects of wind in our lives. And through that, we might have a difficulty at times to love God as fully as we can, opposed to how we are able to love our neighbor. We can go that one way where it's hard to find that great basis in continuing to love the Lord as much as we can because of our own forgetfulness, of our own ways of life. And in a similar way, we can get frustrated with those people that we see. It's hard to love our neighbor as ourself with our own frustrations of who we are in life, as well as the frustrations of seeing others. So it is something that is so very simple in manner, in saying, that it's so simple to say, love the God with all our mind, with all our heart, with all our strength, and love our neighbor as ourselves. That's so easy to say, but it is so difficult to do. And that's why we have this season of Lent, as well as each time we come to Mass, to focus us, to remind us of our God's presence so that we might recognize 
the Lord in our life and love the Lord for what the Lord continues to do. And we come back and recognize our neighbor in that similar way to say, Lord, help me to love my neighbor as I love myself. And as the Lord reminds us in John's Gospel, to love our neighbor as God has loved us, which is even a greater way of love. But the Lord has given us this commandment because the Lord believes that we are able to do it. That the Lord believes that we have the ability and the graces to love in that way. So let us continue to strive during this Lenten season and throughout our lives to be those people of love. To love God in their way that is just to the Lord and to love our neighbor in that similar way, so that in that we might continually be like the Lord, to be a people of love as God is love for us. My dear sisters and brothers, ready to offer the sacrifice of obedience to the law of love, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. That the church may be a living sign of love of God and of neighbor, we pray to the Lord. That leaders of governments and of businesses may help shape the world according to the law of love, we pray to the Lord. That those deprived of kindness and care may receive what is truly due them as those beloved of God, we pray to the Lord. That the sick may be sustained by the love of God, may flesh in those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. That we may labor unceasingly for the triumph of love on the earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for Priscilla de Koa, as well as for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Oh, excuse me, sorry. We pray for Priscilla as well. But let us pray for Robert Hurley Sr. and for St. Paul the Six Christians, as well as for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the faithful departed may enjoy the fullness of love in eternity. We pray to the Lord. Lord and for your own intentions. For the end of abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For this prayer and all the prayers and the sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who chose the Bishop St. Patrick to preach your glory to the peoples of Ireland, grant through his merits and intercession that those who glory in the name of Christian may never cease to proclaim your wondrous deeds to all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of love. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual fruit. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sights, and always be salutary for us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks humble our sinful pride contribute to the feeding of the poor and so help us imitate you in your kindness and so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we are holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord. Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenants, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we have been gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Tell me, Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the VI, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins by the faith face of but not in our sins by the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my word, but only say the word and my soul shall. To love God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself is worth more than any sacrifice.
Let us pray. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the faithful who implore your mercy, that trusting in your kindness, they may spread far and wide the gifts your charity has bestowed through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Last one first. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participating in the sacraments may bring us fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Look graciously, O Lord, upon your faithful who implore your mercy, that trusting in your kindness, they may spread far and wide the gift of charity you bestow through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ, hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. Dear Father, and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Let us pray for our mother, mothers. Mother, mothers, holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity have so sanctified the state of holy motherhood. Imploring thee, I come to you. Humbly, I beseech you. Confidently, I trust in you. I know that you can, by your all powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you, I take refuge, dear Virgin. For in needy I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confident in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mothers, Amen. Mother of Mothers.